Is that a good bike or what? Suzuki SV650 S lower fairing nice raised S on the tank metal tank quite a big tank wide tank looks like a bigger bike even though it's quite narrow so a V-twin nice thumping engine lovely characteristics great ideal bike for an A2 license then move up de restrict it and you've got a full powered bike nice front end on it I do like that from a distance it looks like it looks a much bigger bike than uh, than it actually is but then it'll ride as good as a bigger bike for, for most things for most on road things anyway you know for a day to day road bike and uh, community bike this is, is fine 650 uh, 70, 70 horsepower 71 horsepower 46 pounds with the torque twin discs up front Tokika brakes quite a big disc really they look more effective than they are um, but they're, they're effective enough it could be better if you've got steel braided uh, brake lines I don't know if that's uh, going to improve it a great deal it might make it just a bit too sharp and you haven't got the suspension to match it so if it's a little bit soft, it stops you going mental on it, <laughs> which you don't want to do on this bike like this because the suspension's not really cut out for it. It's always a weak point on cheaper bikes. You know, they're just basic suspension units. You can. There's lots of people that uh, upgrade these, the shocks, especially the rear one. Mine's just the standard one. It's it seems good enough for me. I mean, uh, if you were heavier than me, what do I weigh? About um, 76 kilograms. So I'm fairly light. So if you were heavy, you could get a better rear shock, I guess. But you can adjust the preload on that, so you can you can do it for uh, pillions anyway. I don't see the point unless you're racing them. Oh, it's good to make it up for the track, and then uh, you can buy these a lot cheaper than I bought this one. Mind you, this is quite a good condition with low mileage. The mirrors are very good, actually. They're very stable. They do vibrate a bit when you're giving it some, and the engine's vibrating because it's a vibrating engine with a V engine. They're thumping along. It's not as smooth as a an inline four. Um, but much better than an inline twin. A lot of bikes out today. Nice uh, white. Uh, the seat is quite a big seat, but they're quite a little bit firm, and they've got these edges. And you can, and it's sort of a rubbery material. It's not not overly comfortable. On a long journey, you can feel it. it. Don't bother me that much. You can get better seats, like on, on most bikes. But it doesn't come standard with a, a a super comfortable seat. But I mean, look at the size of that for a pillion. That's that's perfectly adequate for anybody who wants to get on there. You get your pegs. Disc at the back. Nice black shiny wheels. When when they clean, it cleans up nicely. They do tend to rust on the front of the water pump and and this oil, this casing. Simple dials, nothing special there. But it's got this fairing's quite good for getting the uh, wind away from you. And this bottom fairing does as well because it just takes it away from the bottom of your knees. So especially in wet weather, if you were commuting on it, I'd recommend these fairings for commuting. Take all the muck away. Keeps the engine a little bit cleaner. Temperature. Temperature, trip meter, it's just a basic thing, F1 light, so if there's a fault with the engine the F1 light will come on, um, low tank, lights, indicators and a rev counter and that's it, that's your lot. So on this bike you've got to take the side stand up, so you turn your kill switch on, you have to pull your clutch in, or it won't start. Listen to that. That sounds uh, quite quite deep and throaty for a 650. Sounds like a thousand. 
with that exhaust on. I don't know if you can pick that up, can you hear that? It's quite nice, but not rip too much this house is about. Right, get some fuel, much needed fuel. So you open your car, yes. Say what? That'll do, don't want to overfill it. So there we go, lock that up. Clean the top of my tank. One receipt. So that will last me probably 200 miles. And I've got these summer gloves, so I can I, I can just open that up for a bit of extra air. So I just don't want to scare you, missus. Watch out for the diesel. There's always a bit of slippiness in garages. You've got to be careful on the, the roads going in and out of them are really shiny. This one is, or this garage. Extremely shiny. Wait, right, here we're going. Just have a look over my right shoulder just in case. What do they call that? They call it the uh, lifesaver. When you just look over your shoulder at the last minute. Right, here we go. Off we go. Oops, now then, sir, I think we'll uh, allow you to go across the road. I know where we go. On a nice sunny day. On, on side roads. I don't know these roads so I have to be careful on the corners. I have no idea what these corners are. So if you don't know the roads it's best to take it steady, obviously. Nice villages. don't want is some hooligan driving fast through their village making a lot of noise. I wouldn't want it. And there's potholes about everywhere. I keep going about potholes but the 
bottles in Britain are absolutely terrible. Well, that's a good junction. Oh, a little slip road. Useful. Except for your cat. Oh, that's it, you can see. It's a good junction, that. Yes! 